now please see the next question but before solving the next question let me teach you something everyone please listen carefully sir three important key points we will discuss initially and then we will take it forward three important key points we will discuss initially and then we will take it forward everyone listen to this carefully sir right now please see here please see here everyone please see here sir first key point suppose assume that i have a pen the cost price of the pen is 100 rupees i purchased one pen for 100 rupees similarly i purchased another pen also for 100 rupees assume that i am purchasing two pens first pen is costing me 100 rupees another pen is also costing me 100 rupees now everyone listen carefully here sir first pen i purchased for 100 but i don't like to keep it with me i want to sell it off i sold it at a profit of 25 percentage just wait for five minutes you will understand few things i sold it at a profit of 25 percentage 25 percentage of 100 is it is 25 rupees profit selling price of the first product is 100 plus 25 it is 125 second pen which i brought at 100 also i don't like to keep it again with me i want to sell it off i sold it at a loss of 20 percentage assume that i sold it at a loss of 20 percentage 20 percentage of 100 is 20 rupees loss 100 minus 20 is 80 rupees now can i say that i purchased two pens first pen is 100 second pen is also 100 so total price cost price total cost price is 100 plus 100 which is 200 i sold both the pens total selling price is total selling price is uh, 125 plus 80 125 plus 80 is nothing but 205 i spent 200 rupees on purchasing 200 uh, two products and i got back 205 rupees that means i am having profit right i am having profit how much profit i am having i am having 5 rupees profit suppose if i want to find profit percentage everyone listen carefully sir what should be the profit percentage initially initially i spent 200 rupees initial value should always be in the denominator put that 200 in the denominator 200 is becoming 205 200 is becoming 205 there is an increase of 5 because 200 is becoming 205 means there is an increase of 5 put that 5 in the numerator denominator will always be your initial value numerator is always how much increase is happening that means 5 by 200 can be written as 5 by 2 into 1 by 100. 5 by 2 is nothing but 2.5. It is 2.5. 1 by 100 is nothing but percentage. Overall profit percentage is nothing but how much? It is 2.5 percentage. Overall profit percentage is 2.5 percentage. Now, this is the method what you should implement. But instead of using this method, very very first important key point very very important key point cost price of two products should be same that means we are discussing a scenario where cost prices of two products should be same and profit percentage i will call this profit percentage as a percentage and another as b percentage profit or loss percentages are a percentages and b percentages respectively overall profit percentage or overall percentage change it is directly given by the notation a plus b by 2 percentage it is directly given by the notation a plus b by 2 percentage please remember this is valid only if the cost prices of two products are same and if the percentage changes are different I took the example one as 25 percent other as 20 percent then overall percentage changes a plus b by 2 percentage if you want please check it once again sir if you want please check it can I say that a is nothing but profit of 25 percentage it is plus 25 percentage b is nothing but loss of 20 percent loss is nothing but minus it is minus 20 25 minus 20 by 2 25 minus 20 is 5 5 by 2 is 2.5 percentage because it is plus 2.5 
plus represents profit percentage. Overall profit percentage is nothing but A plus B by 2 percentage. Sri Ramya, always how you need to calculate profit percentage is denominator is always your initial value. Initial value is cost price. Whatever is there, put it in the denominator. Numerator is how much increase is happening from the initial value. 200 is becoming 205. That means there is an increase of 5 Shiramya. 5 by 2 is nothing but 2.5. 1 by 100 is nothing but percentage. But instead of doing all these things, you can directly say if cost prices of two products are same and percentage changes are A and B percentages respectively. Overall percentage change is given by A plus B by 2 percentage. This is my key point number one. Second key point. Everyone listen to my second key point, sir. Suppose I will make the cost price of two products are same once again. Once again, I will make cost price of two products are same as same. But in my first condition, I took profit percentage as 25 percentage, but I took loss percentage as 20 percent. That means the profit and loss percentage, I took the different values in my first condition. In my second condition, let me call profit and loss percentages as same and let me call it as some percentage x percentage. In the second case, cost prices are same once again. Profit and loss percentages are also same. Now, the overall percentage change in my previous cases, it was nothing but A plus B by 2 percentage. Observe carefully, sir. A is nothing but profit of X percentage. It is plus X. B is nothing but loss of X percentage. It is cost prices of two products are same. And if profit and loss percentages are also same, then you will not have any profit in the transaction and you will not even have any loss in the transaction. Extremely important point to solve a question within one or two seconds. Whenever cost prices of two products are same and if the profit and loss percentages are also same, then there is a scenario called as no profit, no loss. I believe that the second statement or the second important key point is very, very clear. Third key point, sir, what if the selling prices of two products are same? What if the selling prices of two products are same? And if profit and loss percentages are also same? Here you took cost prices are same and profit and loss are same. What if selling prices are same and profit and loss percentages are also same? In this kind of scenario, you will never have profit. You will definitely not have profit in this kind of scenario. You can take some examples like this and you can check it if you want to. You will always have loss. Loss in terms of a percentage that is given by x square by 100 percentage. Loss in terms of rupees. If I want to tell you how much I had a loss in terms of rupees, that is given by 2 times of selling price divided by 100 by x whole square minus 1, right, whole square minus 1, sir. If you do like all these things, like the textbook methodologies, I might not understand it better, sir. Do not worry, sir. My role is to teach you multiple directions. I am telling you that if you can remember these things, it is good and you can solve it very fast. But if you cannot remember these things, I will still teach you a methodology which does not involve any formulas. Suppose for example, suppose for example, selling prices of two products are same and profit and loss percentages, what if they are different? Let us check that in problem. Now see here, three key points we discussed just now. Just now we discussed three key points. All the three key points, all the three key points, we will understand it via problem right now so that our understanding will be much more better. Now, please see the first question out of these three key points. Before moving to question, again, I'm repeating all the three key points one final time. If the cost price of two products are same, profit and loss percentages are different. Overall percentage change is given by A plus B by two percentage. That is the first key point. Second key point is, if the cost price of two products are same, and make the profit and loss percentages also as the same, then you will never have profit. 
or you will never have loss in the transaction that is a very very important second key point and the third key point is what if the selling prices of two products are same and profit and loss percentages are also same you will never have profit in the third key point you will definitely only incur loss and loss in terms of percentage is given by x square by 100% where x is either profit or loss percent and loss in terms of rupees is given by 2 into selling price divided by 100 by x whole square minus 1 do not worry sir let us solve some questions please see the first question based on these key points i am damn sure that my students will answer it so easily without using pen sometimes also see the first question your question is suhas buys two cows for rupees 3000 each first cow cost price is 3000 second cow cost price is also 3000 that means it is a scenario where cost price of two products are same that is my first statement second statement is he sells one at a profit of 10 percentage profit percentage is given as 10 percentage and the other as a loss of 10 percentage loss percentage is also given as 10 percentage what is his profit percentage or loss percentage overall just now i discussed the second very important key point whenever cost price of two products are same and if profit and loss percentages are also same you will not have any profit or you will not have any loss answer for this first question is no profit no loss reading the question within one second you can answer you can answer this question within one second if you know the second key point if you know the second key point you can answer this question within one second sir i don't know the second key point you should solve all these things whatever i have solved in the first key point similar to that you should solve and get the answer but what i suggest is few things are important for us to know it so that we will save a lot of time in solving and probably we will use that time for some other difficult questions answer for the first question is no profit no loss i believe that this question is very very clear for you people this question is very very clear for you people another question another question for your better understanding please see my next question sir what is the second question let me read this question for you your second question is madushri buys two products for 2000 rupees each again the cost price of two products are same so first product she is purchasing for 2000 second product also she is purchasing for two products 2000 rupees that is the first key point she sells one at a profit of 30 percent profit percentage is given as 30 percent and the other at a loss of 10 percent loss percentage is given as 10 percent what is her overall profit or loss percentage i told you already that when cost price of two products are same and if profit and loss percentages are different like a percentage and b percentage overall percentage change is given by a plus b by 2 percentage a is nothing but profit of 30 plus 30 b is nothing but loss of 10 minus 10 by 2 percentage 30 minus 10 is 20 20 by 2 is 10 percent because it is plus 10 percent madhushri is having a profit percentage overall of 10 percentage very very easily we can solve these questions if you know the key points what we have discussed i believe that the idea is very very clear for you sir right one last question i will solve it before i come to the live chat of students one last question i will solve it i believe that the question on madhushri is very very clear for you people now see the next question another question another key point see this question your question is two horses were sold for 12000 rupees each that means the selling prices of two products are same selling prices of two products are same it is given as 12000 one at a loss of 20 percent loss percentage is 20 percent and the other at a gain of 20 percent profit percentage is also given as 20 percent the entire transaction resulted in how much rupees loss and how much percentage loss loss in terms of percentage it is nothing but 2x square divided by 100 percentage x is nothing but it is 20 percentage 
exceeds nothing but 20, either profit or loss. So it is 20 square divided by 100 percentage, which is nothing but 400 by 100, which is 4 percentage. But if I want to find loss in terms of rupees, this is given by 2 into selling price divided by 100 by x whole square minus 1. 2 into selling price is 12,000. I will write it as 12 into 1,000 divided by 100 divided by x is 20 whole square minus 1. Everyone please pay attention here sir. Can I say that 100 by 20 is 5. 5 square is 25. 25 minus 1 is 24. Cancelled with numerator 2 into 12, 24. You are left with 1,000. Loss in terms of rupees is 1,000. I am telling you once again, either know these key points, whatever I have discussed, to tell the answer very fast. Or if you don't know that key point, please solve it in this methodology. Anyway, whatever you are comfortable, please follow that. My role, I will only teach you multiple directions. I will definitely teach you multiple directions. I hope the idea is clear for you, sir. Profit percentage and loss percentage is always with respect to cost price beta. If you take with respect to selling price, definitely answer will be wrong. No doubt about it. No second thought also. Profit percentage and loss percentage are always with respect to cost price. I also taught you some other ter terminologies yesterday. Markup percentage I thought. Markup percentage will always be with respect to which again cost price. Discount percentage will always be with respect to which market price. All these things you should know. That is the reason yesterday's basic class was very very essential. Madhuri Pratap, please repeat example 3. Madhuri Pratap, example 3 is nothing but, yes, Narendra, Narendra, if both are given as profit, then you should take both as positive. What you said is right. Example 3, Madhuri, I am taking a question where in example 3, selling prices of two products are same. It is given here. So I took it. And profit and loss are also same. I called both of them as X. There is a notation, X square by 100 x value substituted as 20 sp value is 12000 i wrote it as 12 into 1000 because 12000 can be written as 12 into 1000 100 by x value is 20 madhuri 100 by 20 is 5 5 square is 25 25 minus 1 is 24 24 is cancelled with 2 into 12 is also 24 cancel you are only left with 1000 